All right, the next thing we're going to do is to add functionality to the clear button. So whenever the clear button is uh, clicked, whatever is in the uh, JTEXT field is uh, going to uh, clear out. All right, this is very, very simple. So I'm going to go into design mode, double click the clear button so that it, uh, NetBeans automatically generates the handler. And what this is going to do is essentially to set all the text fields to blank. So, oops, JTF author first name dot set text to a blank and the same with the surname and the email and that's about it that's all that's required so when we um, click on the clear button it's simply gonna bl set all uh, to blank let's test that all right so select and click select and click the next thing we're going to do is to add functionality to the edit button so in other words when the user clicks on any of the rows in the table makes changes in the text box and clicks on edit then it must edit that particular item and edit is a little more complex than add because when it comes to the add functionality or the insert functionality it's simply a means of adding a new item to the database and generating a new id but in the case of edit it's different because now you are editing a specific item in the database and you will have to know what is the id of that item in the database so let's start with the edit uh, uh, functionality so i'm going to go into design view and double click the edit button so that uh, netbeans creates for me the the, f the handler method for the edit button now what's the first thing to do the first thing to do is to get the id of the selected author so in our table we've got a list of authors how do we know the id of the selected author now that we are doing in uh, the handler for the the table itself when the table is clicked then we are retrieving the id so that's all happening right about there table authors mouse clicked and right there we are getting the id of the the author that's being selected but the problem is right now the scope of this integer is inside this method in other words there is no way to access this integer from outside of this method what we're going to need to do is to remove this declaration and make this integer into a class level variable so I'm going to go to my variable declarations which NetBeans places right at the bottom rather than the top and I'm going to call this one selected author ID all right so selected author ID and then I'm going to go back to um, the tables on clicked method Where is it? And I'm going to remove the int declaration. So now what's going to happen in this line, in line 354, is that when I click on my table and I retrieve the ID of the selected author, it stores it into a class level variable called selected author ID. And by setting it to class level, we are making it available to all the other functions or all, all the other methods that are in the class. Okay, so that will be the first thing to do. The next thing to do is to take the author ID that we have, use it to retrieve the particular author from the, from the database, 
make the necessary changes to that author as per our JTEX fields, and then save that author back into the, uh, to the database. All right, so to re retrieve the author, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy some code. Not there. There we go. So the code to get the en entity manager factory as well as the author JPA controller. Gonna paste it in here. And I'm gonna get the particular author. Controller dot find authors. And I'm gonna pass it the ID of the selected author, which is selected author ID. All right, so the selected author ID is stored in uh, the, the author variable of type authors. All right, now to make the changes to this author, where are the changes coming from? They're coming from the JTEX field, right? So I'm gonna set the author's first name to whatever is in JTF author first name. I'm gonna set the author's surname Set surname to JTF author surname and the author's email to JTF's author email. Oops, I forgot the get text methods for each of these. But as you can see, even though I forgot the get text methods, NetBeans is reminding me that I've left out something by giving me an error. By and it shows me the error with the uh, red underline. All right, so now the author has been uh, retrieved from the database, we've made the necessary changes. Now it's time to save this author back into the database. Okay, so we're not gonna cl uh, click on, we're not gonna use the, the edit method this time. We are going to use, uh, we're not gonna use the, the create uh, method, we're gonna use the edit method, which is simply going to edit an existing author. Create creates a new author in the database and edit makes changes to an existing author in the database. So I'm gonna pass it author. All right, so all I need to do here is to surround the statement with a try catch block because it's a risky uh, it's a risky operation. So there's my controller.edit author inside the try catch and it catches the exceptions and it uh, logs the exception inside a logger file. All right, so I've got the author saved, but there's something else I need to do. After I save an author, I need to firstly clear all the text fields and secondly, I need to set the the author's uh, ID that is this variable selected author ID to a value that will indicate to me that there's no author currently selected and you'll see why that happens later all right so I'm going to set that to minus one and I also need to clear the, the, uh, the text fields. Now, currently the only way to clear the text fields is to uh, click on the clear button. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create a method. Clear author text fields. 
And I'm going to take all of this functionality that's inside here, cut it, and I'm going to paste it into this method. All right. And in the clear, uh, the handler for the clear button, I'm going to simply call that function. Now I can call this function whenever I want. So I'm going to do the same inside the edit. So once the uh, the user clicks edit, it's going to save the it's going to edit the author, save it into the database, set the selected author ID to minus one, and then it's going to clear this author all the text fields for this author. So I know that the author has been successfully saved. But there's just one last thing remaining, and that is once the new author has been saved to the database, how do we get that author updated into our table? Now that's critical. So we need to find some way of refreshing the table whenever an edit is done and the, ins uh, the edit button is clicked. So to do that, we'll simply click on we'll use the bind authors table function right bind authors table and we're done hopefully we'll be able to run this code without any errors All right, so let's try to make an edit to Jules Verne by perhaps giving him an email address. Click on edit, and there we have it. Jules Verne now has an email address. 